WarpDrive is a system for end-user automation. It allows desktop users to record their screen, and WarpDrive intelligently analyzes the desk recording to build a program for the automation within seconds. It can work across different applications in the browser or the desktop. The technology behind WarpDrive allows it to create automations that can be recorded on one machine and run on any other machine, even in the cloud. In addition, it can also learn from multiple recordings to create more intelligent automations. In this demo, so let's go ahead and log in first. In this demo, we will give a feel for what it is like to work with WarpDrive for end user business customers. For the first demo, we will create a recording for looking up a lead in Salesforce, where the name of the lead comes from a desktop file. We kick off the recorder, give it a name, provide a starting URL, that is optional, and then we simply start doing our task. WarpDrive is designed to be as transparent as possible during the recording so that you can do your task as you normally do during your business operations. For demo purposes, I have opened a desktop file, copy pasted the name into Salesforce, and then I'm pulling the address back into the native app, and then I'm closing everything. Then I go ahead and stop the recording. Between the time I stop the recording and bringing me back, WarpDrive analyzes the recording and attempts to build a program for it. Cool, it's done. Now I'm going to run it. Now we are in automation mode. In this demo, I have added a hue to the screen every time I'm not controlling the desktop. And that is when the recording is running. Sorry, the automation is running. Right now, WarpDrive is executing. And as you can see, it is doing it much faster than I could have done as a human. So that was cool. I can repeat tasks using WarpDrive that I don't want to do manually. But what if the task changes based on some inputs? So let's create a new automation that will have placeholders for inputs. This time, we are going to go into Salesforce and search for a lead that will change every time I run the application. So I start recording by giving an example lead name and doing the task. Again, WarpDrive converts it into an automation right after we are done with the task. So here, I'm, it throws up a dashboard on the top right and I can like copy the input that I specified for this recording. And again, doing my task exactly as I would normally do. I am, uh, so I search for that lead, pulled up the address. Now I'm going to go back into the native application, do something there, and I'm cleaning it up now. And I'm going to go ahead and close the recording. And again, WarpDrive will convert it into an automation within seconds. Now this time when I run it, it asks for the lead name upfront. I give it that, and then I sit back and let it do its task. So as we know by now, WarpDrive helps me speed up my task. We will let this automation finish and in the next one, see what WarpDrive does to ensure safe operations on this speedy task. That is, how does it stop warps when it encounters unexpected behavior from the applications it is working over? So in this next warp, we will be validating addresses using the USPS zip code locator. Notice that when I give USPS an invalid address, it tells me that, and when I give it a valid address, it will move to the next page and give me details of that address. So using that, let's create a warp that will send an email only when the address is validated through USPS. So we give it a name. Uh, we give it the optional starting URL for the USPS uh, website. And then we give it a few inputs, the email, the address that we will be looking up, uh, the city, and then lastly, the subject that we might use in the email. And then we go ahead and start the recording. We have the inputs available to us on the top right. We're going to copy paste the ones that we care about in particular locations. WarpDrive is intelligent enough to understand all of that. Um, I look up a valid address and then I go ahead. If the address is valid, then I'm going and sending out an email. I'm gonna use a particular email address to send it to and the subject that we got from the input of the automation. And for the purposes of this demo, I am going to just create a draft and discard the email, even though I could have sent it. So now we have the automation processing and now we can run it. Note our objective here is to see what WarpDrive does when things are unexpected. So we're gonna run it first with an invalid address. So here it is running and it is going to look up that invalid address. Let's see what it does. Oh cool, it stops the automation as soon as it encounters something unexpected. Now let's run it with an actual valid address. 
and hopefully we will see it run the automation all the way to completion. So if you give it an email, a valid address, a valid city, and then type in some subject, and then run the automation. And walk drive is taken over, and it is doing the task as we had defined it to be. So in this demo, we showed auto warp drive auto detecting the happy path and deviations from it. Later on, we will see how a user can intuitively set up explicit validation checks to make warp bulletproof the way you'd want them to be. And now with these building blocks, let's see examples of how some of our users are using warp drive to save a full week's worth of work by running batched automations over the weekends. To show that, we will also cover how Warp Drive at the backend exposes an API that we use to interface Warp Drive with Excel. So what you can do is you can select a row in Excel and that forms the inputs for the automations as we already saw. And then what you can do is you can do that recording over that row, i.e. those set of inputs, and then demonstrate the task exactly again as you have been doing. So in this particular case, I am looking up the city, the address, and that will be my validation warp. So now when I go back to Excel, I can actually select my workflow and click stop on errors. That's what I want to do and I'll run it over a batch. For example, like two rows, I could run it over the entire data set. Um, here it's running and it's going to do the validations as we were doing manually earlier, but now we're doing it in a batch. So we let this batch finish, but what if we were not happy with Warp Cry being entirely responsible for auto-detecting the happy path? What if we wanted more fine grain control? So let's go back to the warp and run it in edit mode. What that does is it allows us to step through the warp one at a time through each of the prompts and optionally add more validation checks. So right here, what I'm doing is I am actually not controlling the screen. I am just clicking move to the next step on the bottom right. And when I get to the right step, I'm going to add a validation. I can add breakpoints, I can add a validation. And what I want to do is now I want to be ensure that I'm on this page. And the way I can do that is I'm just going to select something on the page. And in this particular case, a keyword entered, and that will be my validation. Check. If I'm on this page, then I'm on the right path in the warp and the automation. Let's do a quick check to see that the warp is still runnable. And then we're going to use this validated warp to run over the whole batch of Excel rows. And note that the validations are going to be transparent. The only time that you actually have them be triggered is when something unexpected happens. And the warp is going to then stop more precisely as the user would have defined. Now we go back into Excel and then select the entire data set and run a whole batch in one go. Warp drive will iterate over the entire data set, running the validated warp over each individual row, taking inputs from that row, checking each step for validations as we had defined them, and populating any errors it encounters back into the Excel spreadsheet and continuing processing. And the row that it is processing right now has an invalid address, so we're gonna see it stop execution, put the error back into Excel, and then continue processing. So as warp drive is wrapping up the warp, let's summarize. Warp Drive is an automation tool for last mile automations designed for end users to speed up their day-to-day -day tasks. It works over any application on your desktop, learns from screen recording to build intelligent warps without any coding or IT setup needed. It allows you to build expressive warps with inputs, validations, and record and run through external applications such as Excel, and has an internal API that will be used for future integrations. Go to warprive.co to learn more and email us at info at to save you tens of hours a week with warps for your daily tasks.